This video will review presets and button zero for the Aver 3R10 camera. There are nine preset buttons on the number pad that you may save. A preset is a location that you determine and the camera pans and tilts and zooms back to that position. So you may choose, for example, a whiteboard, a teacher desk, um, teaching station, or a small group area as a preset. So instead of using the manual tilt, pan, and zoom buttons, um, you can press on a um, corresponding number in the number pad and your camera will automatically um, go back to that desired position that you preset. If you move your camera, like physically pick it up and move it to a different place, you have to reconfigure your presets and you may um, either reset them or override save settings. One tip is that the button zero has already been preset and button zero when you press it will point the camera straight and then zoom it out. How to save a preset. First, find the desired location in the class. Pan, tilt, and zoom to that desired location. Then, make sure you aim the, control, the remote control at the camera. Press the one for the camera unit. That's the white button at the top of the remote. So press one and you will see the one light up. Then now you're gonna need two hands. First, press and hold the preset button. Keep it holding. Now tap the number for the corresponding number that you wanna save the preset for and let go. After letting go of the number, the camera unit will blink once and then you release the preset button. Take some practice um, and if you see multiple blinks, you'll have to redo this, uh, the process again. One more time, tap the number one for the camera unit, the white button, press and hold preset button, tap the corresponding number, let go and let go of preset. Let's pick up from the previous video. The camera is set at the whiteboard. Now I'm going to save that desired location. So select camera unit one, the white button, press and hold preset, tap the number, and then release number, and then release the preset button. Now I'm gonna move the camera around, and actually let me use zero. So this is what zero looks like. Zero aims the camera straight and zooms it out. Now I'm gonna find a different location to save a preset for and I'm gonna aim at the table in front of me so let me pan and tilt and zoom I'm gonna find that table perhaps this could be my teaching station and it's a place that I want my camera to um, pan back to and zoom in often during class so here's preset one the camera is moving finding that whiteboard and zooming in on its own and now I'm going to click preset two, which is the table. And there's preset two. So instead of manually using pan and tilt and zoom to find these common areas in the room that I'm going to find myself um, working from, I can have these locations preset one more time. One, preset one is the whiteboard. And so the camera will zoom to the um, set preset that I set it to. And now two, the teacher station at the front. Consider carrying the remote control around while teaching, especially if you move around a lot throughout the classroom so that your camera can quickly um, go back to one of the presets. In addition, perhaps it may be useful to create a poster with the different presets so that when you are teaching, you can look up and reference the poster to know what your preset numbers are for. Thank you.